probably started in 96. Before that, I was in martial arts. So I've only done two things my whole life, both fitness related. So I started uh, martial arts when I was about seven years old, opened my first school unofficially when I was like 14, and eventually had a chain of studios, professional, uh, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, all throughout the East Coast. And I started doing dietary supplements in my karate school. So it wasn't, you know, formal. It was just getting in big 50 pound bags of protein and doling that out to the instructors and the fighting staff and then, you know, kind of taking it from there and eventually I got so into the nutrition part of it that I decided to go full-time into supplementation. This area here is a pass-through. Before you go through here you've got to clean up once we get into the main facility. It's, it's, it's basically the whole area is a clean room environment. So this facility is what we call a CGMP facility, Current Good Manufacturing Facility. And in 2008, FDA passed what's called 21 CFR 111, and those are the regulations for manufacturing, uh, packaging, labeling, and storing of dietary supplements. We kind of like to not say we're a CGMP facility, but we are what we call a BGMP facility. It's beyond. Uh, GMP. We go much, much further than what the regulations require. Once we say in our SOPs that we're going to do a third party analysis, the FDA will audit us to make sure we are doing that. Because what they're looking for is a process that from start to finish is repeatable every time. So if you start the same way, you go through processes and finish, then every product should be the same. If you have any deviation along the way, then you don't have a product that's going to be the same every time. In the foundation of any good dietary supplement is the ingredients themselves and choosing those ingredients. The process for those ingredients being purchased here is we create a formula first. We then have to qualify the manufacturer. That's not easy to do because we have regulations, 21 CFR 11, only for the finished product manufacturer. The companies making ingredients have nothing. So before we buy from them, we have to make sure it's good. Once that does, we get the ingredients in we look at the ingredients, we test that ingredient. If that sample passed that test, then it is qualified and then the purchasing department is able to purchase it. Now here's where we differ from most manufacturing facilities. Once we qualify the vendor, once we qualify the ingredient, we can purchase it. If it passes, then it goes out to a third party independent lab where it goes to quantitative testing. So we make sure it's going through two sets of labs before it is approved. So you gotta make sure that ingredient is exactly what it's supposed to be prior to actually manufacturing with it. But we will still verify every single product that comes in. The second step is how do we make sure that we're getting the right amount of ingredients into a drum? So what happens is we have this five-step process to make sure that what's going into the blender is exact. The computer will print out the batch production record, which is the official record, like the recipe. The warehouse will pull the bulk materials, and they'll have to sign off on what they pull. It will go into this pharmacy room, and the pharmacy room has to have two people in it at all times, because they have to double validate every single thing they do. Then they'll take that to a scale. The scales have to be validated every single day before use because if the scale is off, everything's off. Third party has to come in every three months and validate the scales as well and validate our weights that we validate the scales with. So once we're in that room, one person will do that, then they'll actually weigh up that ingredient. The second person will then have to go to the scale, validate its correct ingredient, check the weight on the scale, and they will both have to sign ingredient by ingredient that the ingredient is proper, the lot number, the manufacturer is proper, and the weights match. And they have to do that one at a time. So you can see what I was talking about. There's like a half a pallet of protein there. We're gonna weigh every single one of those bags. So if a bag is a half pound up or down, we wanna make sure that we know exactly what to add or subtract from it. This will show you the packaging process for everything. This portion here was where the bottles go. This section here is the only thing that really changes much between a powder or a capsule. Here it's capsules. And this will count the capsules, drop them through this funnel into the container. If there's any cracked capsules or something is wrong, the system will know that. This arm will come out, catch the bottle, 
pull it to the side. And then it comes to the next process, metal check, just like that other line did. If there's any ferrous, non-ferrous stainless steel the size of a pinhead, this will catch it. It'll come through, go by hand, put on the lid. This will seal the inside of it, you know that metal foil thing. It'll come through, seal the outside. Over here in inkjet, we'll spray the expiration and the lot number on the bottom of the bottle. The label will go on here and the finished capsule, will, the bottle will come over here. Every bottle gets inspected and then it goes out. This is a blender, predominantly used for protein powder. Uh, you can use any blender for anything, it's just what we find works better. This blender is a cone blender, and this entire thing spins around and blends it. Well, there's actually an exact science to engineer the blend of every single product. The density of the product, where the fill is in this, all of the blending in this comes down to like a six point area in that blender. As it spins, the material starts to go up with the cone. When it hits the top, it's gonna crest just like a wave in the ocean. And as it crests over and comes down, it intersects with the product going up. And in that six inch area is where the real blending is happening. So you can see we're talking a lot, we talked about what we have to do to qualify a manufacturer, what we have to do to qualify that ingredient, how we bring in that ingredient and test it every single time internally in a third party lab, how we go into the pharmacy room and go to that five check system, how we go into the blending room with a five check system, but you don't see all the engineering that goes in the background to figure out the timing and all that to make sure this blend is good. And that's how you get a great product at the end. Just throwing a blender in a room and throwing a bunch of shit in there, hey, that could be a lot cheaper but you don't know what you're getting in the end. And one of the things we do is when we finish a product, the process is the same at the end as in the beginning. Once that is done, then it gets released. And those lab tests we put online and you can actually look up the lot number of your product. So we have to make damn sure that we don't have a mistake at the end because we can't even, you know, some companies don't give a shit. They're off by 8%, 10%, 12%. What do I care? We care. And it goes down to the concept of trust but verify. Everybody talks about the quality of Nutribio, but they can verify the quality because we allow these walkthroughs like this. It's open to the public. We put our third-party testing online, batch by batch, lot by lot, so you can see exactly how the finished product is made. This is a protein uh, packaging room. This is the last step in the manufacturing. It's just being set up now, so they're going through the testing. You'll see some bottles coming off. But basically the bottles are put on here. We do small batches of our proteins because we want them going fresh to a consumer. So literally if you buy a protein from us, it's going to be manufactured probably in the last two to three weeks. The bottles are put here. After blending, the protein goes in this big sack here. It's fed into the hopper, which is fed into this auger here. And that auger is going to know a certain measurement of revolutions. And it's going to turn a certain amount of times to fill that bottle to an exact weight. And then it'll go through the second stage there, which is metal check. Again, metal check is not mandatory by the FDA or by any regulation, but to us it's very important. The label gets put on at the next stage, gets sealed, goes down, gets the expiration date put on, and each bottle is inspected uh, at the other end. So this is a final process. What sets us apart is our history and our manufacturing and what we do. And uh, the idea of how this company was formed uh, has brought us to where we are today and the quality of the product that we make today. So when we started manufacturing years ago, you know, we didn't control anything. We didn't know what we were doing. And uh, that's you know, what pushed us in 2001 to just start the whole company over. We took 90% of all of our products off the shelves in a warehouse and we tossed them all. We threw them out and we destroyed them. And I started the company all over. We went from a 24,000 square foot warehouse to around 20 employees and we dropped down quickly within a matter of two months to just me. The other stuff that I had, I couldn't sell to my customer anymore because I didn't believe in it. And if I'm going to make a product 
I've got to take it myself. I've got to give it to my family. I, I can't give it to anybody else. It's no different. And it's that passion that for fitness, that passion for training, that passion for my martial arts, and trying to get the most out of your body physically, mentally, emotionally, that got me into supplements. That's when I made the decision. You know, I can't allow anything out of my warehouse and go to a consumer that isn't exactly not just what it's supposed to be and what I'm promising on the label, but what I'm promising it's going to do for them. But it's the attention to detail of every single process, every process along the way, that makes that finished product what it's supposed to be. It's not only what my customer knows, it's what's I, what I know they don't know, or they're not going to look up, or they're not going to care about. And that's to figure out what all these hundreds of ingredients are that are in my products. They don't know. So they've got to trust. And that's what I take very serious. That's where the passion comes. That if I'm putting it in here, it's the right dose, it's the right ingredient from day one, from choosing the ingredient, to dosing the ingredient, to building the product, to putting it in a bottle. It's gonna be the best it possibly can be.